Good morning, children. Let's continue with the lesson, Economy and Occupations. Now, in the previous session, we had studied about the primary activities of Brazil. Here, we are going to do the primary activities in India. <clears throat> now, in India, agriculture contributes more towards GDP and also it engages a large section of the people. And we find about 60% of the land area in India is under cultivation. Now, because of uh, the vast expanse of level plains and also because of the fertile rich soil and the high percentage of cultivable land, wide climatic variety and the long growing season, etc., it provides a strong base to agriculture. Now, this itself, from this itself, you would have understood why agriculture is a major activity in India. Now, the primary reason is because of the flat level plains and also because of the fertile soil. And uh, we have, again, higher percentage of cultivable land. Okay, land which can be brought under cultivation. And again, we find when you compare it with other countries here, the climate is varied, okay? And we don't have too cold, also too cold a climate also in India. And hence we find the growing period is long, okay? And all these provide a very strong base to agriculture. And Indian agriculture is again of subsistence type. The, pri the farmer produces more for his own family and whatever is left will be going to the market. <clears throat> now, the principal food crops which are produced in India are rice, wheat, maize, sorghum and millets. <clears throat> Apart from that, plantation crops like tea, coffee, rubber, as well as cash crops like sugarcane, cotton and jute are also produced on a large scale. India also produces fruits and vegetables. Okay. Then let's come to fishing. Now fishing is also another major primary activity. Okay. And India is one of the largest producers of fish, both marine as well as inland. Okay. Uh, marine uh, that is uh, carried out along the coastal regions and inland is along the uh, rivers, okay, various rivers as well as the tributaries. Now, fishing, fisheries help in augmenting food supply, generating employment, raising the nutritional level as well as earning foreign exchange. So, what is the importance of fisheries? Okay, first of all, it augments food supply. Then, second is, it uh, employs a lot, uh, many people, okay, so it generates employment. And again, uh, it also raises a nutritional level, okay. So, nutritional standards, uh, nutritional level is raised by, you know, uh, through fishes, okay, as well as it also earns ready foreign exchange. Now, uh, uh, those, uh, you know, uh, people who live along the coastal regions, fish forms an important part of the diet. For example, uh, states like Kerala, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Goa, which are along the coastal regions, you know, consume fish in plenty. <clears throat> and also you find we have a very long coastline, about 7,500 Kilometers. Out of the total, you know, annual production of fish, 40% accounts for marine fishing and it is usually confined to the coastal waters, okay, along the western region from the Kutch, then uh, Kutch is along the Gujarat border coast, then Malabar coast, we have the Konkan coast also, okay, then Malabar coast in Kerala. Then we have Coromandel Coast that is along uh, Tamil Nadu in the east. Then <clears throat> important fishes which are caught are sardines, mackerel, 
Bombay duck and prawns are on the western side. On the eastern side, important fishes caught are horse mackerels, clopids, and silver bellies. <clears throat> then, freshwater fishing or inland fishing is also carried out in rivers, canals, irrigation channels, tanks, ponds, and lakes. So, freshwater fishing is also carried out along the rivers, you know, on a small scale. Okay, along irrigation canals, then you have tanks then ponds, okay, uh, lakes, etc. Then, major freshwater varieties of fishes are silver bellies, that is called chopra, etc. And inland fishing accounts for 60% of the country's total fish production, whereas marine fishing accounts for 40% of the country's total production. Okay, so what are the uh, you know, what's the importance of fisheries? As I said, it helps in augmenting food supply. Then it also helps in generating employment. It raises the nutritional level and also earns foreign exchange. Children, please remember the importance of, you know, fisheries. Okay. Then next we come to mining. Another primary, important primary occupation is mining. And all, as all of you know, the Chota Nagpur Plateau, okay, in India is called as a storehouse of different minerals. And people who live along these regions, we find mining is a very important occupation for them. Coal is also mined in Korba, in Chhattisgarh, and in eastern part of Maharashtra, okay, that is uh, Chandrapur, okay. Uh, coal is also mined in Chandrapur. Then... Apart from that, we have also, say, uh, Bihar, we have Jharkhand, West Bengal, okay, all these are also, Orissa, they are also very rich in uh, go, uh, coal, okay, production. Then, apart from that, mineral oil wells are also found in Digboy, in Assam, then we have Mumbai High in the Arabian Sea, near Maharashtra, Kalol and Koili in Gujarat, okay. So, uh, mineral oil you know, as uh, mineral oil wells are found in Digboy in Assam. Okay, then Mumbai High. Okay, Mumbai High is in the Arabian Sea along the coast of Maharashtra. Then in Gujarat, it is mined in Kalol and Koili. Apart from that, we find along the, this is uh, actually uh, the, only the recent times, extensive deposits of mineral oil and natural gas have been discovered along the mouth of the River Godavari. Then, uh, marble, okay. Uh, stones like marble are found in Rajasthan and Kadappa in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, so these are the different, you know, <clears throat> uh, minerals which are mined. Okay, we have coal, mineral oil. Okay, then you have um, stones like marble, then we have. Uh, marble in Rajasthan and Kadapa. Kadapa is actually known more for its granite. Okay. And it is mined in Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So, children will continue with this lesson in the next session. Till then, thank you.